Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning in my channel. I know it's been a while since I've uh, made any videos with my updates. I've been through quite a bit this past month, and I will definitely come back on and make a video and fill you guys in with all my details. But right now, this video that I'm making is for a specific reason, probably the most important reason right now, presently, and that is to get support for Charles Dyer and his family. Uh, we need to raise, within a very short time, about twenty to thirty thousand dollars. And that's a lot of money, but I have a very good idea and way we can do this. I started a page called Dollars for Dyer Friday Money Bomb, and it's a donation page, and I'm asking for everyone all around this country that believes in Charles Dyer to please make a pledge and to come together on Friday and all of us put at least one dollar in a pot at the same day, on the same at the same time frame, and let's really generate the kind of financial support this family needs. And there's this sounds like a really kind of far-fetched idea, but if you think about it, I remember when Ron Paul was running for president, his uh, supporters, they raised over a million dollars in one day. And uh, when I first came up with this idea a year and a half ago, I contacted Oath Keepers in the very, very beginning phases. This was when Charles was still sitting in jail without a bond for like four months. And I went to Mrs. Dyer and I asked her, would she be all right if I tried to do a, a money bomb for Charles back then? So this is when I was still a member of Oath Keepers, and I used my Oath Keepers page, and I was hoping that their membership, since at the time I think there was like maybe 10, 12,000 members, there's probably about 25 now, maybe even 30,000, but back then there was a pretty good chunk of, uh, of members, and if, since Charles Dyer was an original um, founder of Oath Keepers, I don't care what anyone says, that's the truth. Him and Stuart Rhodes were the ones, the first original people who sat around a table with like four other guys brainstorming, trying to figure out a way to create some sort of organization to help spread the message of Oath Keepers, and that's how they came up with Oath Keepers. So I don't care what anyone says, Charles Dyer is and was a member of Oath Keepers. So since he was this, and I knew um, he had told me that him and Stuart Rhodes were good friends, I didn't think there would be any problem, and I thought Stuart Rhodes would very easily get on his website, send a mass email out to his members, asking everyone to put at least one dollar in a pot, and let's generate some support for this guy. Well, I was completely wrong. I was told to take my stuff down, do not use any kind of Oath Keepers next to um, Charles Dyer's uh, uh, name, do not ask for any support from any of their members because Oath Keepers was not going to support Charles Dyer. I was very, very upset. I tried to do it anyway with my friends on my, on my Oath Keepers page and I got suspended and banned from the site. So a year and a half later, just like two weeks ago, before they found Charles Dyer, I was contacted by two vice presidents of Oath Keepers. One's name is uh, John Shirley and the other one's Jay Stang. And both of these people were very positive and they were very supportive and they apologized. They told me they had an emergency meeting in, in uh, Charles Dyer's honor and they had, they had come up with the, um, with the new plan and the new stance and they were going to step forward and they were going to publicly and openly start supporting Charles Dyer. I was shocked. I was very excited. And they told me that they were going to help me raise this money, do the dollars for Dyer to help get the defense he needs, and openly, publicly support him. Well, ever since Charles was apprehended, I've heard nothing from these two men. Nothing. I've sent voicemails, text messages, emails, Facebook instant messages. Nothing. They completely have just ignored this whole thing and walked away again. There's another member by the name of Steve Armbruster, who's over the Pennsylvania, I think. He's a BOD over the Pennsylvania section of Oath Keepers. And he tells me that Stuart Rhodes has agreed to do anything that they can to help the Dyers. And so what Stuart Rhodes has done, the only thing he's done, is gone on his website, made an open public statement on his opinion why he thinks Charles Dyer is innocent. Bravo, Stuart. Thanks for doing that. And that's the, all they think they can do. They think that's enough help. Stuart Rhodes is a constitutional scholar. He has a, he has a license in criminal defense. Okay? He is an expert in constitutional law. He could have done this pro bono for Charles a long time ago. And he never has. And so for them to come up and tell us that hey, we're gonna we're gonna do whatever you need, whatever the family needs, 
and Stuart Rhodes has contacted Mrs. Dyer, and there has been no return phone calls. He told her the same time frame I got the phone calls that they were going to help and step in, and they're sorry for not helping Charles, and they're here to do whatever the family needs. So all they've done is put a little tiny post on their website, and in the very bottom corner, put the little donation address. And that's nice, whatever. If, if you're looking for it, maybe you'll find it, but that's not going to get the support this guy needs. All Stuart Rhodes needs to do is get up, send a mass email out to his entire website, his membership, about 20,000 people, asking for $1 each, boom. Within 24 hours, I guarantee Oath Keepers could raise twenty dollars to $30,000 for Charles Dyer. And that's what they need to do, but they're not. They've ignored us now. So I need to uh, know, I, I'm just, I've got to try it keep trying and it's a beautiful idea guys we don't have to have Stuart Rhodes's permission so all you Oath Keepers out there who are listening to this please take this email and this video take the link that I'm going to post and spread it to all of your friends on your friends list of Oath Keepers just do it because Stuart Rhodes and his two vice presidents have told us that they were going to help publicly support him I don't know what he's telling you guys but they gave us his word and he's they're not owning up to their word so we need you guys the members of Oath Keepers to just help do it anyway. So please, everyone, let's come together. Let's show how strong this Patriot movement is. Let's show how we are able to unite together and come as under one, one group and show our support and let's just do this, guys. And what a beautiful way in the future, if we all can do this one time, then the next person who gets in trouble, we can all do it again. What an amazing thing that one dollar can make such a huge difference and we can all come together and just keep coming together and really be a strong force and defense for any patriot that's out there getting in trouble for standing up for what's right, his freedom of speech, his constitutional rights, his passion and his love for his country. I mean, just listen to his videos, guys. I mean, that's why he's, got, he's being set up. We all know this is a setup. So let's change the course of, this, of the history of what usually happens with this kind of, um, you know, what happens to people usually when they do speak out. Let's stop this. Let's grow some strength here. Let's step up and let's do this together. And we, we can solve this. So please, it's dollars for dire Friday money bomb. There's also a petition going around that I would like to have everyone sign. And so when they go into court and they show the jury, it would be really, really cool to have a list. I mean, papers, you know, with thousands of donations under one account showing the support this man has had. And then also a petition with everyone's signature showing the support that this man has. We could give this to the governor and say, hey, look, look how many people support this man and look what's going on in the county that you're, is in your state and how he's being, you know, completely an unfair trial and he's being lied about the media and he's being completely demonized because of his, his freedom of speech. So anyhow, I'll quit preaching. I hope that this is going to work. We can do this, guys. Let's just, it would be fun anyway to see how many people would do this. If five people do it, it's going to be embarrassing. If 5,000 people do it, it's going to really make a statement. So please help me, okay? Peace out.